<laughs> just, oh just catch. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna crack. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. A little like what what we stumbled across. A 450 case dozer. I've never owned one. Don't know anything about case dozers. But there's your problem right there. Jumped the track. It was running good, so he says, until it jumped the track. You know, if I had to guess, I'm gonna guess early 80s, maybe late 70s model. Uh, don't, you know, no A or B, they might've come out that, that could have changed later on as they upgraded. I say these right here a wore out. That's what you call a wore out. You know, I can't even think of the name of that. Pins and bushings and sprockets. That's a wore out sprocket right there, fellas, if you ever not seen one. Looks like uh, 10 or 12 inch pads, real narrow. Let's see about what it is on the inside. Boy, that right there needs some cleaning material. Oh, wait a minute. Let me look up here and see if we got any. Any, uh, yeah, I don't see any. Hey, that thing's got a great seat in it. It hadn't been sitting too long because the seat hadn't took too much abuse. Uh, hydraulics, diesel fuel, little light on the back of the seat that you can turn that way. Let's see. You're gonna have to have something more than than that to clean that hourglass. Uh oh, it's got a key in it. I wonder if that got a I don't know what engine's in it, but I believe that's a pull stop instead of a electric. I hope so, it'll make it easier to stop. I mean, to start. You know, the muffler looks like it's okay. Uh-oh, it looked like it might've had a little. Uh-oh. I don't know how long it's sitting there, but that's not good. And the reason that's not good is water accumulating in it. Oh. These sprockets right here are, yeah, this undercarriage is shot. Oh. You might can turn the pins. You might can turn these pins. I'm gonna put y'all under there. See what y'all think. I don't know focus or not, but Jacob will when he edits, he'll know. I don't know what this is. I say uh I noticed I don't know if I said this before, but I noticed it don't have a four-way blade just up and down manual tilt uh right here. You just do them bars and it just make it tilt pivots right there. But what's this right here for? What's this cylinder right here for? Maybe it can push the blade forward and back. Well, the, it's got to slide uh, somewhere or another. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe you do, Jacob. Yeah, maybe you do. Maybe you do. Can't. No, no. I don't see any way that that's. Uh, or maybe it can tilt. Like it can um, be at an angle. Hey, that's, that is your tilt. This is a four way. Yes. My bad, people. That right there is your, uh, up, you got up and down, and you got a, uh, that really ain't tilt. It's side to side. 
six way blade is up and down, tilt, and angle. That angle's a blade right there. I know, I know that's not the correct word, but I'm sorry. All right, let's uh, let's look and see what engine is. Good gosh, at the hey, this thing ain't been sent too long. He just had put a hose on it. It's not dry rotted. Well, right there's the oil stick. Let's check it while we're here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This thing is making oil. Too much oil. Well, we got a problem. Why is that a problem? It's got water in it. It's got water in the oil. It's got wa uh, water is heavier than oil, and it'll settle down to the bottom and put the oil on top of it. Uh, that's not good. Let's, uh, well, let me check the water in the radiator. Got a little spring to it. That's pretty neat. No, can't see any. It's got a little, it's got a little cover on it. You can't hardly see in there anyway. <laughs> no. But we can get some water. We're right here at the, at the man's shop about getting some water. First thing we got to do is uh, do something about that water in the engine oil. Well, first things first, let's take this, uh, let's see what kind of engine it is. Perkins or John Deere, fellas, before we get into it, I... Did Case make their own engines back then? Did Perkins put them in some of them? I think Perkins put them in some. Uh, John Deere is usually on the passenger side. I mean, on the driver's side on the oil check. But this could be... Anyway, let's quit guessing and let me get some tools and let's just get this side cover off and see what it is. It's nothing but two... Two of these. Hey, y'all, y'all follow me. I want to show you something. Don't go anywhere. We're getting a little bit organized over here. Look at that. Brand new two box. A Harbor Freight special. We got the look what little bit of tooth we have separated. And I've had this cobalt. Uh, this was given to me months ago. And my other son, Jeb, got into it, and he started putting all the pieces together. And I told him, well, I like that. I should have done that a long time ago. So we got some sockets and ratchets, and we got some tools, and we got a bag full of, uh, I think it's in the back. I got another bag full of uh, some stuff. Hopefully we got everything we need to get this case another chance. There it is, fella, right there. If you want to learn how to organize your uh, two set, don't call me. Call a friend. Because you can just go over and over about where you need to do something. But that's what we got right there. We don't have many, but what we got, we're proud to have them. All right, I'm going to say that was a three quarters. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm gonna use the crescent wrench like they do at Hamiltonville Farm. And there's a three quarter. Let's see if we can, how much difficult we're gonna have here. I don't think it's gonna be too bad. It is a three quarter. I know I got the crescent wrench and use this. I still brought it out. That's worth something. All right. Oh man, that didn't have to even come out, did it? 
Looks like it just comes up. Now we can use the crescent wrench. Yep. All right, guys. He, uh, it's a John Deere, and uh, he put a different exhaust on it. <laughs> that is not the original exhaust manifold that come off of it, but hey, it looks like it works. Little four-cylinder. Let's put them, well, where'd those go? Did I knock them out? Uh, I was trying to grab them. Oh, okay. They fell down there. Oh, it's a one whole bar. That bar down there. Okay, I got you. All right, over here we'll know not to do that. Let's get to the other side and take that panel out. Yeah, once I got to taking them off, I seen the slots uh, in there and I, I you know, just for trying to get a fire or something out real quick, I couldn't imagine you having to take that off like that to, you know, try to get the fire extinguished pretty fast. Well. You might have to loosen that just a tad. Yeah, you do. I wasn't totally wrong. I was just halfway wrong on the other side. It's caught right here. Yeah, what that is, it's not easy. Get it. Uh, maybe that's not a John Deere. I believe it is, though. It don't matter. I mean, it does matter, but I believe it. I believe it is. Starter's easy to get to. Uh, oil filter right here. Not easy to get to. I need to find the engine drain plug. So we get something to catch the, what comes out in until the oil starts running. Oh, the water should be on the bottom. I don't, I don't know how much is in there, but we'll soon find out. Of course, it ain't on this side. Just really hadn't been cleaned out in a while. All right, we're gonna have to dig a little bit, so just stand by. Let me move this out of the way. Yeah, I'm not sure that's a, a standard uh, John Deere. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking this is a, uh, that's accelerator. I'm thinking this is a, maybe a Perkins engine or case engine uh, you know if we had it cleaned up a little bit we could tell but the injector pump don't look anything like but this could be the older version of a little four-cylinder uh, John Deere engine all right enough about that maybe it'll tell us is what it is after we start digging further gonna have to go get something to clean up around the uh, oil pan with because it's going to be the oil plug is going to be right there on the bottom somewhere on this side or that side. Hopefully it's on the same side that the oil sticks on. I'm not sure I can even get under there. Let me get under it and just see if there's a... Um, shoot, I can't get on this thing.
There ain't no way I can get under there. Hey, uh, let me get the flashlight. Uh, if we're just gonna have to dig uh, right there. I can't believe this plug's not on this side. What's it's this on the other right side. Here? Huh? So that's where the oil pan hooks to the. Oh, that's. Yeah. Two, seven, five, seven. Yeah. I'm gonna say this is not a John Deere. All right, Jacob, let's go to the other side. This. That that plug should be right there in the in the lowest part of the pan. Yeah, It'll see. be right there, so the oil would drain out. Be, uh, let's go to the other side. So that don't even make sense that that oil plug would be there if you can't even get your hand down in there to change it. I can't I can't get under. I mean, there ain't no way I can get under that just to see if you have to get on the bottom of this thing to do it. I don't say anybody else could either. I mean, you would have plenty of room. But just getting, getting right there through that. Hmm? This is where the radiator is. Uh, boy, that right there is a tough line right there. Now watch it. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to ask YouTube to help us. Changing engine oil and 450C case dozer. That's where it's gonna be, Jacob, because it's got a hole right in the bottom. Right here is a hole, uh, and I bet you that oil plug is right there. And, uh, yeah. damn, I need this thing up. Well, there it is. I don't see the plug, but I see the hole, and I bet you that plug's right there. And uh, I don't know what's going to happen if I get stuck right here. I guess I'll be stuck till somebody comes and helps me out. You know what? Maybe I can come in from the rear. Let's see the camera. All right, guys. I'm going to put you right there first. I'm going to guess it's right there. Uh, I believe I might have enough room to come in that way. Because uh, I just can't do it this way. For sure. Uh, I'll get it down there. Uh, everything like this. Okay. Is that ants? We try to make a little bit more room. What you think? I don't think you'll make it. Not unless we dig out a lot. <laughs> Let me look now. You'll see. Yeah, I seen that bar coming across there. Oh, Lord, yeah. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, boy, howdy, that's just terrible. Can't get under it to get to the oil plug. We don't have any, any type little fuel line, nothing. I thought about maybe if we put a fuel line in that and got to the water, we might could siphon it out the side to the coastal. But we would have to have something small enough to go in there to do that with. Uh, Yeah, you know, I, I'm sure back in the day they had a high spot they drove up on where they could slide under there and do that with no problem. It broke, it threw the track off with him right here. I guess he was turning around to 
go back through there and make another path or this might have already been here. I don't know how long it's been here. I'm gonna guess three or four years probably. Right now, I just gotta figure out how to get that oil out of that engine. I don't know. Let's run back the, the camera and see if that was a plug in there. All right, well. <clears throat> we can probably dig it where you can get under there a little bit better than I can. And all I'm gonna do is we're gonna break it loose and we'll get something to, to catch the water. We're not gonna take it all the way out cause the water will start coming around those threads pretty quick. And we just let it drain down till it gets oil, then we tighten it back up. Cause this has not been started or ran or attempted to be started since the oil's like that. Cause the oil's not milky. So we're gonna send Jacob under there to get this done. You can tell me if it's uh we did we we did look under there uh it was it, it was so fast i couldn't really tell but it looks like it's got a like a, a nut under there so I, i'm thinking we're on the right path now and jacob he'll uh he's gonna go up there and, and get it out for us he's over there getting ready now he's thinking himself he wish he would have bought him some well i don't know every, everyone his clothes is like mine they Greasy, nasty. But guys, I just show, oh, there's a serial number. Let me get over here and get the VIN number off of it while we're waiting and killing a little time. I don't know if that, y'all can see that or not, but there it is. And I'm gonna go get uh, something to wipe these gauges off with. We can read the hours and I'll just stand by. This is where you're gonna speed it up, ain't it? Okay. While we're digging. Uh, I'm I'm, well, I mean, it's just gonna go. I'll give you a board if you need it. Need it, need it. Need it. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna Just too uncomfortable. But uh I'm gonna whiten this right here. <laughs> All right, he's going in. You, right. you cleared the bar now, ain't you? All right. Uh, hey, Jacob, show these, show them what you're looking at under there. There's the camera. Let me go get the phone. I brought it over here. All right. All right. We're going to see if we can get something going now. He's on a, take a picture of that. Get it up here where I might can tell what it is. Get him the right tool. But I did, when I was doing that, I cleaned off the hours meter. It's like 4,000. I think it says it on it. I think it says like three, four. Let's go over here to the, to the trusty cobalt bag. Cobalt bag, the cobalt. Oh, that was all metric. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Just got word there was a lot of things crawling on him. Let's see. I'm gonna hand you a socket and just see if that's it. Oh, that's way bigger than that. Yeah, that's what I thought. So 
I thought I saw it being big. Let's just happen to see if the only big socket I got is it inch and a quarter. And he, see if that is it, Jacob. It's a little bit smaller. Oh, good. Jacob, we're gonna have to go get uh, what we need. I, I don't have any tools like that at all. <laughs> uh, stand by as Paul Harvey says stand by to pull <laughs> I, I got a net oh well, hey the people like my hind ends bending over and thing but it was, my, it was my stomach I was worried about <laughs> hey, look like a gopher trail in there now this is when you need a. I felt very close. This, today. yeah, this is where you need our grandkids to come in there. They're a lot smaller and can move around a lot easier. Let's go see if we can find the right two. We right here, close to our buddies at uh, mock spreading, and they probably got some tools we can borrow. So, it won't be but just a minute for you guys. Well, it won't be but just a second for you guys. See, I didn't take that long. We're back. I got online and I checked the three quarter that was on the head was probably told me it was a three quarter bolt and it said on there that an inch and a uh, eighth head fits it. But while I was at the, at the auto parts store, I got this. And I'm gonna try to run this through the oil check and see if I just can't suck it out of there. Jacob said he'd pay the $17 if he didn't have to climb back under there if this works. So let's see if this will work. Never tried it, may not try it again. May have a transfer, a multi-use transfer pump that I can tote around with me for the next time we need something. Let's see what we can do with this thing. See if it'll work. I don't know why we got two reds and a, I don't know what's gonna need instructions. I thought it was just plug and play. Maybe it is. Let's, uh, let me get something in case it does work. We changed oil in my son's truck the other day, and I just had this in the back. Good thing it did. All right. It's still making oil. I hope there's nothing in there blocking it. Don't feel like it. Oh, my goodness. I got, oh. Is that sucking? That's sucking, wasn't it? I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We'll swap them around like this and try it one more time. It don't look like too much water in it either, does it? I would've thought it would've. Ain't that nice. Folks, this might be the first. Where does it start? Yeah. There it comes. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm in there. Oh, it says it's a handy two for home, garage, auto, and boat. Instructions was included. Jacob, it looks like it's gonna be to crawl under it. Let's see right here. We had it right. It's got a, something in. It's uh, it's hung in there now. See if it's got something now. This will not work. It just won't. But you see right here, this is full. This is where it is. I didn't see any sign of like water. Well, 
I'm sure that works pretty good. It just didn't work on this one. All right. Let's go back to plan A. Plan B didn't work. Take this socket. I got a got this inch and a sixteenth socket. Uh, the man at the parts house said to just put it up there and see if it works. If it don't, I could bring it back and get the right size. But and I don't think you can curl your arm around there and get up under there other than having to get back under there again. Big. Yeah. Too big. Well, that was a lot easier. Catching, but it's not okay. Tight. Just stay stand on top of your head. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, here's two of them. Hopefully, one of them will work. This one feels like it would. Fit. Feels like it would work. Okay. Oh, this one really does. Both of these feel like they could work. All right, that the one, it feels snug. All right, that's an inch then. All right, let me see if I that, can. The bigger one feels like it would work too. Okay, let me see if I can find a. It's an inch, not an inch and a. Whatever I said. Hey guys, we actually had an inch in our our box. So we may be able to do this project after all. I really am sorry about the cameras flying around everywhere, but there's Jacob over there. Got his feet hanging out in front of a dozer. <laughs> uh, all right. All right, Jacob, see if, see if that's that. How you doing down there? <laughs> uh, all right. He broke it loose? Yes, sir. All right, hang on. Let me get this uh, contraption out of here. We'll put it over here. I'm going to hand you this bucket. Uh, I don't know if you can. All right. And... Uh, just try to see it till you see it start trickling out. You got it? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, it wasn't a total loss. We did get something to eat while we was there. Can you put your hand on it, turn it by hand now? And you can, it'll come out, and if it's come too fast, just put, the, put it back in there and tighten it back up. You'll get it on your arm and run down your elbow and then your armpit, but it'll be I'm okay. Some, um, I'm getting some liquid. It's pretty clear. Okay. You get in the water. I don't hear it hitting the bucket. Oh, yeah. Can you come up? Yeah, that's what. Yeah. <laughs> there it goes. Well, you if it's water, just, it's all right if it gets on the ground water. Just, oh just catch. <laughs> oh, it came out all the way. Okay. That's the limit. Right here. All right, let me. Is, that's filling up pretty fast, ain't it? Oh, it was just in a hole, wasn't it? It's kind of spewing up um, every direction. All right, screw it. You can screw it tight and it'll. Uh... I'm going to be here all day. Well. That's what we do. You should be getting to the black gold in a minute. It's not. It's clear. I'm going to see. Let me, uh, I'm going to check the oil. I'll let you know when a different color comes out. When you see a different color. Watch my eyes. <laughs> when, you, when you see a different color, you just. It's going to have a little bit of water in it, and that's okay. If it starts and runs, we'll just, you know, service it. Oh, yeah, you're getting there. You're about halfway there. This bucket's about halfway full. <laughs> now, Jacob, if you want to stop it, just 
turn the bucket downhill, it'll be all right, because that's just water is all that is. Just make sure we're catching that oil is what we're doing. As we, as the first part of the video, I was just looking at these, these rods right here. And as I was standing by here looking at them, I, I don't see anything that's uh, hydraulic. Uh, no hoses. You know, when I first seen them, I thought, well, the hoses are run through here or something. But I don't see any hydraulic. So these might not be what actually uh, angles the blade. All right, I might dump this water. Okay. Uh, here's this. All right. Now that water, folks, y'all seen it. It's, it's clean. It's no oil. All it's right. been sitting I'm here. Some, it. Okay. Yeah, see there? Just screw it up tight when you... Get some oil? Yeah, just screw it up tight and tighten it down. And hopefully, hopefully we haven't done this for a naught because we don't know if it's stuck or not. As you know, we just didn't want to spin it and mix that oil together and all that. Not that we're not going to change it. We just There was just no use of, of making a mess, so to speak, inside there. But anyway, we've, we've got it drained. We've had to travel a little bit and waste a little bit of time, but that's all right. We used to it. Tighten it down. All right, we got that done, guys. Uh, 2,800, 2,400 hours, almost 2,500 hours. That's probably what's on the undercarriage, so it probably is original hours. I can see this dozer working good on a farm somewhere, small, put it on the back of a trailer and pick up carrot and do some a little bit of clear, nothing real major. I can I can see. Hopefully, it still has purpose in it. So, so hoping it uh, still has it ends and run good. Put that carriage on there. But we all know, not not all of us, but most of us know that sometimes that dozer and transmission's got to be good and hydraulics to be good to spend six or eight thousand dollars for an undercarriage right fellas because that's that's the money of the dozier right there i mean i'm not saying a pound of drive ain't costly but and uh, and that undercarriage lasts about right, I'm coming out. 25 here it comes <laughs> oh boy Why is your face so red? All the blood's gone to it. See, it's still yeah. pretty clear. Yeah, but that's that's good. We'll we'll dispose of that oil properly. You know how it is, uh they say like when you kill your first deer, you cut your shirt tail off or you dip it in blood. Well when you do your first oil change, you, you get oil on you and all that. So welcome to the clubs, all I can tell you. And honestly, it gets worse from here. All right, well, let's find, uh, we've got plenty of batteries now. Uh, let's find the fuel, something to check the fuel. We've checked the water, none in it, but we're not going to run it long if it starts. This is hydraulic here, so the fuel's on the other side. Yeah, that would, well, I say... Say that'd be the fuel. Battery made me under the seat. I don't know, I ain't picking that up. Now that battery's gonna be hinging up right there. Yeah. Hey, Jacob, if you get on that side, if you move that boat right there, that's the boat that was on the side panel. That nut, yeah. See if I had to lift up, the battery's probably under it. This whole piece? Yeah, I think, no, no, yeah. And there's the diesel fuel in the battery, right? Yeah. There's some wasps. <laughs> there's this one on it. Of course it's pretty angry. Of course it is. But there's a big nest right there. You get some, I'll get some ether and spray them. Well, I'm glad you run your kin folks off. Yeah, the diesel was under here. Now, Jacob, when I was spraying ether, when I was your age and we had ether, that wasp would have died instantly. It wasn't a, it's down there flopping. That ether we used to have was the real deal. All right, let's see what this looks like. 
I can see my reflection in it. All right. All right, so we got diesel. It's a little bit though. Oh, look at that. Well, it's been about right? been about uh, three years because there's the 1020 on the battery. Well, we got in a hurry a minute ago and I didn't strap them down and the old toolbox. It went all the way to the front, but that's all right. We got it. <laughs> Jacob said, don't say we. Talk like he didn't have nothing to do with that decision. All right. Let's get a 9 sixteenths. There it is. No, it's going to be a half inch, I bet. I get one of each. There you go. That's good. All right, get that one. That's tightening. That's tightening that one. I told you the same way, but it... Told you it gets worse from there. That's what the, uh, that that <laughs> seen it coming. That's he didn't want none of that. If you'll just stand right there, I'll swap with you. Okay. I got now it. I'll get the battery. You did the other. The uh, well, we're closer than we was uh, an hour and a half ago. Hey, I am. Uh, I really am trying to teach Jacob a little bit. I know some things that. You would think somebody would know, but they've never been around it. I've been around it my whole life. He hasn't. He was he went with me when he was little, but as went as far as getting things serious about this and that and the other. Uh, so we we just he's learning and I'm trying to teach him. I know he won't be much better when he does learn everything I know, but he'll he'll be a little bit better. How about pulling this lever here? Oh, in, in and out, come on. Okay, that is the stop. So, so push it in. All right, see if we got any fire over there with that key. It should. I don't see a button now. I know I called a lot of trouble about a button earlier. No. All right, turn it on. Even though it don't have to be on, let me get a... Let me get a screwdriver. I honestly don't feel like we got any fire. And we should. We should have fire. Because he was cranking it with that one battery, I know. Okay. All right. I'm going to spin it over a minute and just see if it does anything. All right, you're all. Uh... Okay, that's going to be your fuel. You can probably give it just a tad of fuel. Uh, let's just say, just remember, don't panic if it rolls, just pull that, that'll kill it. But I'm out of the way, it ain't gonna get me. All right, here we go. It's a good sign that it's not locked up. All right, let me go get a little ether. Come on, come on. Come on. Okay. Let's see what it does. <laughs> it's going to crank. You want me to hold the gas down? Yeah. Yeah, come on with the ether again. All right. Just put too much in it then. Give it just a minute. I was holding the gas down that time. Do I? No, I didn't do it. That didn't do it. 
<clears throat> and that's fuel. Gas, fuel. No, just remember fuel, fuel and gas. It ain't no big thing, but you'll have corrections all the time if you don't remember to say it right. Of course, I can you I can use the old uh, senior moments. You you don't have that privilege yet. We get those comments. Being <laughs> oh boy. All right. Yeah. It's just got too much ether in it. Give it just a second. When I was looking around at the starter, I wonder what this does. Has that got something to do with a glow plug or anything? I don't know, honestly. I don't. I'm thinking that's oil pressure. But this is. This is hot. Leave us a comment below if y'all know. Okay, guys, when I got on this side, I see the hoses coming to the back of this one. So I'm going to assume that that does it right there. Nope. Angles the blade. And that over there is just a... Uh, let's see if this one's got two coming to the back of it. Okay, guys, another senior moment I had. We got it all done. I'm sorry. What? I don't really mean to do that, but it happens sometimes. But it, they, it is a hydraulic cylinder, and I know it angles the blade now. So this is a four-way blade. It just don't have the tilt. So it might be an 80 model. I've just never seen a... Four-way blade with that longer stroke on the cylinder. Most of them, you know, now they got them where they hook up here to this A-frame. Or C-frame, I mean. And uh, go from there. You know, uh, just please excuse me for some of the comments I make. I do eventually come back and, and try to correct, correct my ways. We got some... Uh, Seeds going in the ground over there. Spring is amongst us. Probably planting some corn. It's a beautiful day here. I'm going to guess 70 degrees, not too hot. This is how you tilt it? Yep, that's how you tilt it. And that's up, back and forth, up and down. That's what it is. All right. It's a pretty comfortable seat. It is. That's why I didn't figure it would have been sitting that long for a seat that hadn't... Uh, Let's see if it's turning. Ah, oh, it's not locked up anymore. Get no smoke at all, are we? Let me bar this. I think I seen some smoke then. Let's give it just a minute. It don't take much ether, so it's got, that, that tells me it's got good compression, right guys? When you spray a little bit of ether in it, it locks down, that means it's got pretty good compression. We're not just getting any fuel right now. Uh, I'm gonna look over there while we let it uh, go off and see if it's got a manual fuel pump. I uh, might could break the injectors line loose and that would help it too. Get some of the air worked out of it. So let's see. Uh, okay, that would be El Novo on the fuel line oil. All right. Just going to try to see if we can't get a little bit of uh, better spin. Uh, it's spinning fine, but we'll try to get a little bit better. Kind of set it across that way. All right, okay. Maybe this will give us what we need to spin it pretty good. All right, let's see what it does now. We'll just spin it over some. Maybe it's been over really fast.
<clears throat> I wouldn't have thought, it, thought all that would have been worked out by now. Let's give it a few minutes and let it set. Go from there. I'm gonna take this air filter housing off right here. Let me move that back out of the way. See about getting that air filter out. Not too bad. I don't see any rat nests or anything in there. All right, let's see one more time. It ought to be freed up. Lord, I hope it ain't. Starter's a tad warm, but not bad. Let's see. Looks like the starter ain't engaging now. I mean, I don't think it's the engine because you don't hear it go boom. It's like it's almost like the starter's just not trying to engage, but it could be messed up. Guys, I think I've had enough for one day. We have, uh, I, I just don't know. I, I don't know if it's uh, the starters. Whoo, Lord have mercy. The starter's hot. I'm thinking that's probably the problem now. Anyway, guys, I think we're going to call it a day on this thing. Probably going to end the video with this much of it. I'm not going to give up on it. I think it's got some potential. The starter is easy to get off or easy to get to. We just have to take this this line loose or something to get that starter to, to see about it. Uh, hopefully, we can get it running. My plan was to get it running today. Uh, get the track on it on the next and then see if we could drive it out of here. But guys, this stuff is for sale. I promise you the guy wants to get rid of it. I know you can't put a whole lot of money in something like this, especially like I said a minute ago because of the cost of an undercarriage. And now, not for sure about the engine so you can at least check the transmission. I mean, you don't want a total dud. But I believe everything was running fine because the man that owned it, he just throwed the track and he, he didn't... They never put it back on three years later, probably. But y'all, thank y'all for watching. Y'all come back next time, see what we can in. Come back next time, see what we can get into. And remember, don't be wily.